What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and I'm here with you another day wearing the same shirt. Um, pretty much slept in this shirt, and I was having thoughts. And whenever I have thoughts, I usually turn to the camera to express myself, and I'm kind of all over the place. I think I've been looking at the content that I've been editing recently and realizing I was just recording just to record. Um, some of this content has like no purpose whatsoever, which is probably not good if you want to grow a channel. However, there are moments when I watch my own content and I can see parts of me that I don't think I really was aware that I was feeling in that moment. Like I was watching a video of me eating food and I was like, man, I just look, I look sad. I look upset. Um, and it just made me think about like how moody I can be. Like, cause I think I can be quite moody, right? And so I guess we're just going to dissect that. We're just gonna sit with that. We're gonna give that place on my channel um, right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Hello loves, and we are back. And like when I'm talking about moody, I'm talking about there's some days where I just feel low. Um, even today, today was a pretty chill day, nothing happened, but I just kind of felt low. And like, I'm not sad, I'm not upset, and I'm not binging, although I did eat a steak and a bunch of fried food. I'm not exactly eating the healthiest, but I'm not binging. It was a rainy day today. It's a little dark. There's not as much sunshine in the sky as it usually is. And today isn't a day much different than the day before. I did my laundry, I cleaned up, I edited a video, I think. I edited a video, maybe. Um, you know, but there's nothing like too different than the day before. It's just, I don't feel the energy or the passion or the mental clarity, if I could say. Sometimes you just feel really mentally clear and like my brain just kind of feels tired. I uh, went to sleep and I've been having this issue lately where I go to sleep and I wake up within like four hours of being asleep. So I'm trying to go to sleep at like 12.34. That's my bedtime. I know, 12.34 earlier. But I try to go to bed by 12.34 and I've been waking up like 5 a.m. before the sunlight comes up. And I just, I'm on my phone for a couple hours and then I go back to sleep. And I'm awake right now and I feel, physically I feel tired. Like mentally I feel like my head hurts. It could be the braids. It could be the braids, honestly. This is day three. I've been taking pain pills. Like, it's it's new. It's different. Um, but I also thought about how this reality of, have you ever, like, just kind of sat down? Like, I was sitting down on the couch, and I was like, man, it's about 8 o'clock. And then I looked at the clock, and it was only 4. I know that there's this thing called like time blindness with ADHD. And I think I do experience some of it. Sometimes I blink and so much time has went by. And sometimes it feels like time's not going by fast enough. Time's really standing still and I don't know how to feel that time. And I don't really know how to feel when I'm feeling those times. Um, sometimes I will turn to eating when things are just moving too slow. Um, there's times where the things that interest me will stop interesting me. To be completely honest with you, there'll be times where I don't have anything that I want to read because nothing's really interesting. Um, these are times that really are followed by a high pro productivity mode for me. Um, it really hits the nail into the coffin. Like I will go solo and then I will just zigzag up and then I'll be highly productive 
and it's really interesting because I literally was just going through a highly productive time and I do wonder if it has something to do with how earlier this week um, I might have overdrunk, got hungover, and vomited a lot. You know what I mean? Is my slowing down, or does my slowing down have something to do with the alcohol that was in my system when I did that? And it's kind of getting to the point where I don't think alcohol is really for me. Um, and this is honestly, this wasn't what this video was about, but... I think I'm just speaking my heart and I don't really think alcohol is really for me. I don't really like the me I am when I'm on drugs. Um, I think that it sucks, but I've always had a negative view towards like alcohol or putting anything in my body, even though I still like without like without pause would still do it because I think I really like boundaries within myself and I'm really telling myself lately like you really lack boundaries you really lack boundaries there's this emptiness that I feel nothing's wrong but there's also this idea of what's next and I, I really don't know like I jump, when I go online, I jump from TikTok to YouTube to Instagram, and I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want to continue to stay in this unmarked country for another year. I don't know what I want. And, like, I think that that insecurity does kind of affect my mood. I don't feel like, man, what am I doing this for? It's kind of useless, but I do feel like, I don't know. I don't know. This isn't a crying, emotional, like, video, but it's just, I don't know. And I thought that, you know, a lot of the time I'm being emotionally vulnerable on my channel and it's like the sad vulnerability. It's the painful vulnerability. And I'm looking at a video I'm editing right now and I'm talking about, okay, let me talk about the people I love. Like, it doesn't always have to be the painful vulnerability. But I think that even though, like most of the time that people see me in my real life, I'm smiling. I still have quite a lot of pain that's been yet to be uncovered, if that makes sense. And I think that a good bit of my pain might have something to do with my weight. A good bit of my pain has a lot to do with how I interact with the world. And I guess, not to nag about weight, but I guess there's this, inability to change or inability to change as fast as I want to change that really makes me feel like you know it makes me feel sorry about the lighting we're, we're doing this by the sunlight I could turn the camera and face the, the window and you could see the mess in the background it's not that messy but the lighting wouldn't be changing like back and forth back and forth right um, but I'm just by the window I don't know, it kind of feels like melancholy, like the darkness, the shadows. It's giving Christopher, what is it, Christopher Weed, Weed, Reed, Christopher Weed, the Batman guy. It's giving how I, how I use the shadows to express the undying feelings of my heart. But yeah, I just, you know, a lot of my videos that I posted kind of were without rhyme or without reason. And I guess I want a little bit more structure to it. So right now we're talking about how really my channel is a extension of me. Um, my vlogs are not really vlogs, but video proofs of moments of where I've been. Um, and video proofs of the moments where I was, I want to say my strongest. Now I feel a little emotional, but when I stand in front of these cameras, when I stand here and I'm talking to you guys, I feel the strongest I've ever felt. 
just sitting here and speaking my heart and just letting what I feel be heard. That gives me a strong sense of fulfillment. It gives me a strong sense of being heard. And it doesn't matter how many people really watch the videos. I don't really understand the algorithm. I think that if there's more cleavage in the thumbnail, maybe, maybe something will happen, but I don't know. Even without the, the cleavage, YouTube continues to be a safe space for me. All in all, to be completely honest, there are days when I am up and there are still days where I am down. And I think that's very human and I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. Um, and I'm still trying to find myself in this world. And I think a few weeks ago, I don't know when this video will come out, but a few weeks ago, I said something and it was just like, you know, like a little update. It was a short video, but it was just me saying thank you. Thank you to the people who are here because it really surprises me that there are people who show up even for a second show up to these videos where I'm finding myself and it, I guess it doesn't matter who it is it's just someone showed up you know um, I really don't know what my deal is I really don't know why there are some times where I speak and I feel like there's so much clarity to what I'm saying and then there's some times where I just feel muddled and confused and I think the words that I say tend to start to muddle together and be very confusing it's just like that sometimes like I guess again my channel is a reflection of me and I'm not always in a good space but if you see me I'm always trying so it's kind of like a ray of hope um a ray of hope in everything else. Like if all else is lost, at least I found here. And that is all for this video. Just again, another unitedly random update. We've been getting a lot of those, but I had to get some things off my chest. And it's not these big old bitties. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, bye bye. Much love and positive vibes. I was watching a girl do some Reiki healing. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you feel it? Ooh, tickle your butthole. <laughs> um, and let me tell you, I, I, I can get sucked into that. I could get sucked into that. Uh, anyway, much love and positive vibes again. And remember, you are a part of the Jones Bones, which means you can believe me. Yeah, that's probably gonna be my thumbnail. Ooh.